I got bronchitis. And as I'm sure you already know, ain't nobody got time for that. Hello, my name is Frank Hannaway and welcome to Big Journey, Small Steps, the channel where I talk about my spiritual path uh, to self-realization and the small steps I'm making to get to my goal, aided by my teacher, Eknath Ishwaran. Well, as must be pretty obvious, I am sick and I've been sick for about a week and um, I almost didn't do a video this week and then I thought, oh, I know, I'll talk about um, what I do about my spiritual practice when I'm sick. And um, so that's my topic for today. Um, so what I do basically is I continue to put meditation first. I, um, I don't stop meditating even if it's difficult. Though, fortunately, this week it has not been difficult to meditate. Some other things I've had a little bit more trouble with, but um, the meditation has been, been pretty good. So, um, I'm pleased that that's the way it turned out. Um, I just didn't take any medication that would make me sort of change my mental state before I was going to meditate and either in the morning or in the evening. So that's worked out very nicely. And it, it reminded me of something, um, which is that I always, without giving it much thought, had always thought that the time, the moments in my life where I wanted to be most spiritually focused are the moments at the time of my death. And it occurred to me this week that I won't be feeling very well then. Generally, people don't feel well right before they die. And that they better have some muscles on how to, how to stay focused um, during that time. So I just looked at this as, as practice. And um, I have to say that during the day when I'm taking medicine and stuff, uh, uh, I've had some trouble um, keeping up my regular mantra practice to the extent that I usually have it. But I, uh, uh, I was thinking about that yesterday and I really worked on that last night. And I, I've had some sleepless nights. So last night I just dedicated myself to saying the mantra during that time and try not to worry about not getting sleep. Because I haven't really felt exhausted when I didn't sleep. I just, um, I just start hacking and coughing in the middle of the night, which me saying this. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. And there's the evidence. Um, it, it also is a reminder to me that, um, no one escapes mortality and that we all have these periods in our life. I think people that lead a spiritual path and who have a goal uh, are in many ways healthier, but it doesn't mean that you es escape from the laws of nature entirely. Some great mystics um, died of cancer. Ramana Maharshi had uh, a cancer on his arm that eventually killed him. Probably today it would not, but in those days I don't think it was treatable. and. Um, Sri Ramakrishna also um, had throat cancer and he managed to teach almost up till the moment of his death um, in spite of that. Um, and now for my bad joke, um, the Buddha died from a bad meal which tends to make me think that he was actually from France because the French might die if they had a bad meal. I, I adore France, so I, I sort of think that, you know, if you're going to eat, meals should be good. Um, anyway, I don't know how, how on topic that is, but I hope you'll give me a little leeway this week. So, I appreciate you spending your time 
with me. I guarantee you that I am not uh, contagious via video. Uh, and from the bottom of my heart, in sickness and in health, I wish you peace and joy. Thank you.